<laughs> yeah, then you don't see that. All right, here we go. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. All right, so we're doing a confidence interval for the mean of people who uh, lose weight before the summertime starts. And uh, part A is that we have to draw a picture. This area is 0.98. This area is 0.01. This area is 0.01. Now, there was much discussion um, about the chart and what do you look up. The deal is you're looking up, and I'm showing you the z-score chart kind of as a, as a side here. You're looking up 0.01 on the inside part of the chart. You're not going to be on the outside part. Somebody earlier said, well, I found it. 0.00 is down here and 0.01 is on top. And I went over there and I found that value. No, 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 no. That's not what you're doing. You're looking for 0.01 on the inside part of the chart. So you're looking for 0.01 on the inside. Now, you're not going to find 0.0100. I wish you did, but you don't. What you find is 0.0102. And 0 0.0099. Those are the two values you find closest to 0 0.01. Now, which one do you use? Well, you always use the one closest to it. So in this case, you're going to use 0 0.0099. So when you look up 0 0.0099, that value is 2.3 on this side, 0 0.03 across the top. And so that value is that value is 2.33. So we got 2.33 and negative 2.33. So hopefully everybody got A. Now part B is a straight memorized deal. It's x bar minus E is less than mu, which is less than x bar, which is less than x bar plus E. And E is equal to, give me a second, please. Please. And E is E is equal to Z times sigma over the square root of N. Now part C is you gotta do a little bit of work. So our average weight loss was how much? 5.8. Uh, 8. 8.4? Eight point four minus two point three three times our standard deviation was what? Two point one over the square root of forty nine. Okay. Is less than mu, which is less than eight point four plus two point three three times two point one over the square root of forty nine. Right? Square root of 49 is 7. 2.1 divided by 7 is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 times 2.33 is 0.699. And if you take 0.699 and subtract it from that, you will get 7.701. Right? It's actually 7.701. If you wanted to take off the 1, you could say 7.70. Remember that you are supposed to go one decimal place further than this. So technically the correct answer there is 7.701. Either way, I'm okay with that. Okay. Uh, less than mu, which is less than tacking on the 0.699. You're going to get uh, 9.099. Yes, no, maybe could be a little bit. All right, so part D. Part D would say to us that we need to do, um, I don't know what we need to do. We need to do something. Oh, we got to interpret. How do we interpret? If we continue to take samples of size 49, we expect... of the sample means to be between 7.701 and 
0.999. Your assumptions in this case, these you have to memorize. Since n is greater than 30, the sample mean is normally distributed. Alrighty. Any questions on that?